Activist Julian Snobbs said that the plant has to grow in a controlled environment like a greenhouse. Cannabinoid are groups of chemicals in the plant that get used to reduce anxiety, nausea, and is known to protect against cancer. There are 900,000 farmers. Can you believe that? There are 900,000 sustainable cannabis farmers in South Africa alone. Now, is the government going to go and count their plants? Is the government going to give them a license? And what would be the point of giving them a license? So, the cultivation, trade and use of cannabis in South Africa is as follows. In the top left-hand corner there, you say indoor greenhouse and outdoors. Those are the three basic principles of growing cannabis. If you are wanting to engage in growing medical grade cannabis to treat people with a barcode in your local discount, you will have to grow your cannabis in a very, very solid environment, indoors, with no pests, no bugs, no hookers, no outside elements, and create a, the same cannabis time and time again. Cannabis activist Gareth Prince, who was not allowed to practice law due to his belief, said that the plant unified people during the apartheid regime and explains that it could be used as food as the cannabis seed is more nutritious than any plant in the world. The reason why it was considered undesirable because it was considered to make young white girls sexually licentious and that caused them to interact intimately with blacks and colors and that was something that the apartheid government could not fathom how could these christian girls christian raised girl suddenly be so swayed by this this must be the devil's weed and that is how cannabis came to be seen because it broke down the barriers of apartheid bearing in mind that with modern day technologies and advancement we have now discovered so many things that can be done with this plant. You're talking about food. The cannabis seed has the complete balance of omega-3, 6 and 9 fatty acids within them. The cannabis seed is the most nutritious seed on the face of the earth. We're talking about the ability to build bricks from hemcrete for houses. We're talking about fiber for clothing. We're talking about medicine from the buds you're talking about thousands of products that can be manufactured in an environmentally friendly manner um, especially this notion around medicinal cannabis and then thinking that we should apply the same standards when measuring other medicines truth of the matter is that when it comes to traditional allopathic medicines is that there is a dire need for the strict level of compliance that currently exists because if you overdose on any of these medicines you die whereas there is absolutely no proof that you can die from an overdose of cannabis that is something that has not been medically demonstrated and to say that cannabis medicines must be held to the same standard as Western allopathic medicines is a flawed argument. And we are saying that indigenous knowledge ways and indigenous knowledge medicine cannot be held bound to that same standard there because simply, and especially in relation to cannabis, it is non-toxic. Prince added that arresting people for using cannabis does not make sense as they are not hurting anyone. Despite the plant being legalized, over 90,000 arrests have been made in South Africa in connection with its use.